Right about now, man. 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 Well, I got a, another, this is a serious question I mean to ask, like, every fool would be talking about Ant Brown is the, the, the coldest footwork ever, but I read this interview from Kwan where he said, I never knew, you know, Ant Brown, the only person I knew was Nick, Nick the man. Okay, and we, we out west. <laughs> On the west side. Yeah. I'm, I'm south side all day, but I'm born and raised west side. So mm -hmm. I can see both sides of the street. How the west side and south side difference is that with dancing, and Brown never said he was the coldest. That's what I like about him. Dude just was good and humble at what he do. His style was just easy to catch because he was so emulated to what people wanted to study him because he was so smooth at what he did. He developed his own style, but he knew Nick, Nick knew him. But they know as the style that they got was West Side. The, the soul track, everything that footworkers do today, I kid you not, I'm gonna tell y'all just like this. When you do a move and you swing from one side and it's a combo and you go to the lab and you switch it, but when you do it the other way, it's not new. It's called a soul train. That's why I sound all day. It's just what you do with it, so it's not new. It's just how you look what you do. So Ed Brown, to me, is not the coldest. Nick is not the coldest. They was just too good at what the fuck they did. Quaz good at what he do. AG, good at what he do. Lightbulb, good at what he do. Uh, thank you. Below zero, good at what they do. I like to see them get down, but for some reason, me as a DJ, I have no problem. But them ones that dances, they, they choke each other. <laughs> <laughs> so I should be like, what? What is it all about? I guess because I look at it as more about they try to get some up out of, and it's not love. It's no love. It's about being seen. And that's dangerous, man. Y'all gotta be careful with that. Dude. It's like y'all playing dangerous waters of that y'all don't know about. But, you know, everybody wants credibility within this whole footwork and DJ industry. It's like, even for some of the new DJs or track makers or some of the new cats, like, they feel like, yes, I'm this and I'm that with it. But it's like, what work did you put in? You know? It's, it's the, the, I, I had to ask myself, what work, like you say, what work did you put in? Go out to places to us, a uh, person will open his door and say, come on in. But when you come, you done been to these places. And it ain't only one person. And you got this this equipment sitting there, uh, new bar, uh, they say, mix three. Yeah. You come in with your CDs, anybody can get on. Because guess what? You playing yourself by going in for free. Why is it that you go keep doing it? At one point, it wasn't that many DJs. It wasn't that many track producers. But they see you keep getting on, they gonna do the same thing. It's too many people trying to do the same thing. Now these people walking around here with money up in their pocket off of everything that you did. Tell you another thing too, homie. A lot of people need to get this straight. It's very few people that was already established before the cameras came to the picture. So if you speak and say, well, I put you on, you never put people on. Certain people already was dead. It was that we helped each other cycle from point A to point B to help grow a little bit more, but we live our life. But the average person behind us that never got that, they are being sabotaged from point to one. I can put you on, I can do this. You can't do that. But if they feel, if you feel that you can, go ahead. At the end of the day, go right ahead. But at the same time, the person as the artist that want to be seen, you got to think twice about your future and what you really want up out of it. Because at the end of the day, what you really think you trying to get up out of here, you're not going to get it. Because what I thought I was going to get up out of here, I'm not going to get it. I just enjoy the time I have with it produce it and put the music out there. My job is, my, my job is already done. Create something to where it went somewhere. <laughs>
Yeah. It went so well. We caught it the same at the same day at the same time. When you mention anything about footwork, they're gonna tell you, even if my name is not mentioned, if a person that really do they they homework, even from the person is saying, well, who's holding the camera that really follow footwork to what it is, you're gonna have to mention my name. If they never seen they go be like, you know anything about our people? That's tracks go stop. That's what people be like. <laughs> we gotta do if it was for him, this is where it would be. We wouldn't be talking today. So I'm, I'm laughing because this is all true. Like that's a true story. So at the end, so at the end of the day, that camera only could get you so far. It could get you every. It's so many people that I see in Chicago that are has beens, and we and we talk about artists I can that, are, that are has beens. I can name that 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 could have went so well, but still being seen here. Dude, uh, uh, I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to take Kanye West, for example. Kanye West is a person to where uh, we only get to see him. Either we go to see him in concert. We, we, that was we see him, him on TV. It's going to be people that's after him. That could have been the same place where he's at. But I still see them. Mm -hmm. I can still see them on a regular basis. But their name is hot. At the end of the day, what do they have to show? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So have to be careful for what you ask and what you want. But Kanye was to tell you, it's not easy keeping that image up to par. It's not. Anything you try to strive for, it ain't easy. It's, you it's, gotta. It's like it's a job. You gotta hold your rep. Period. Somebody invested into Kanye West. Jay Z invested into Kanye West. Exactly. So, so Jay Z know what he's a, his investment was in. Kanye West would know if he go invest into somebody, it's going to be worth it. Mm -hmm. It's just like those that's here. Me, I can't invest in people at this moment. The reason why because I took on the oath of obligation for my family. Once you once you take on the oath of obligation for your family. Meaning to a wife and everything is going good, you have to be crucial about your decisions. Because either you're going to do it for the right reasons or the wrong reasons. I'm straight. I'm still going to do my music. I'm going to do whatever it needs to be done. So believe me, this future with footworking and DJs producing music, it's still a great future. But it's not going to be to where uh, I'm going to be the head honcho. Nah, I'm going to make sure you get it. It's just pay attention. That's all you got to do, pay close attention. So now, Footworks is now to a point where the whole world is now witnessing it after 30 years of Footwork that's been now from the late 80s all the way till now. Like you have DJ Rashad and Spin all over the world on the ones and twos playing for the people. Tracksman, the minor Tracksman is worldwide now. He's not on tour yet. So how do you feel about all the accomplishments that's happening now? Or do you feel like that it could have happened a little bit sooner, but people No, nah, just... it's happened at the right time. <laughs> at the right time. Joe, if it would have happened years earlier, and we, because we, we was there. Mm -hmm. We still had, but if, dude, it would have really been, I think we would have really got further, but those has been would have been us. Mm. That... <laughs> That's why it's it's still an open it's still an open door to what we control it. We we can control it. It's the those who took it from to Tokyo, Japan, to the UK, even those in the states. They appreciate it. The problem is at home, but everywhere else they appreciate it to what they respect it. Cause it's our crowd, it's our music, they, it's our they gift. They respect it. They got, they learned to love the music and produce it. That's, that's what it's still, it still haven't been to, to what it needs to be done. And i tell you something like this, people. Mm -hmm. It's going to take me to do it. I'm going to do it. And when I do it, it's going to be easier. It's actually easier said than done. Because it's things that I'm going to do. 
out of love and the crowd is going to follow. You got to lose before you gain. So it's to work. Uh, even those that's out here on the shady business going to be like, oh, he's straight. He got what he want. I got what I want. And they're going to respect it. So that's all I got to say. We, 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 we but respect it. what kills me is that why is it that we getting love out elsewhere but not in our hometown? This is where it, it, it got established at Chicago. And I feel like we feel like we need to unite as one and just let people know like there's so much great talent, but people be so egotistical like like nah, you know, I deserve this and you don't deserve shit. Ooh, ooh. And it's like Who all saying that? <laughs> Where your money at? <laughs> what? Where's your money at? And we and we and we and we talk about those who try to accomplish it. Where is your money at? We ain't talk about where you go to play at, but where is your money at to do this? Now you understand what they say is too many DJs here. And the point to what everybody is trying to get at, they have already burned their bridges coming through the door. That's the bad part. Where is your money? Where is who going to trust you? You could go get, I don't care who you, but, dude. <laughs> anybody, anybody, anybody that you name, that is saying on the producer side of DJs that you could mention, I'm not gonna say no names because they they my guys. You can bitch to them and I can say, well yeah, they good, but somebody else is gonna bash them. Because they had words with this group. The minute you have words with a group or something, the group of DJs, they just killed the whole credibility to what they thought you fit, fuck that, we ain't coming. Exactly. Fuck and that's them, we ain't coming, fuck them. Just like, just, just, just like, I'm gonna mention, I, I'm gonna mention the war zones. I'm gonna mention the, 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 the BGs. Them two different places. But with the, if they have an event the same day, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. Rivalry like crazy. It's gonna be a problem. I support both, but I can only make it to war. The only reason why I can make it to BG is because it's down the street from my job. Mm -hmm. But as the war zones go on, I can't be there because I'm at work. So that's the only difference. But at the same time, I I, I, I like for I like those two places. But when it comes time to the crowd, oh the crowd is like fuck that place. No, I ain't going over there cause this, cause that. But at the same time, I can't, I can, I can credit and give my shots out to the both of them, but when it comes to the true biz of it, that's not me. That's not me, it's not about them two. It's about me and my business. I, I have did work with both of them before and continue to say support both of them, but that's not me to promote their business. All thing I can say is I like what they have done for the, for the, for the people out here. Yeah, it's all it's all about the people and then that's what people don't really understand. It's like we're not here to support your business. We're here to support what you're doing for the people, the footworkers, the dancers, period, in the, in the dance world. So with that being said, there's no need for no rivalry because at the end of the day, all people want to do is dance and call it a night. Yeah. It's it's now now, now, when, when it, when it, up like this, when it comes down to uh, my, a couple of my events that's coming up that I would do, that when they say, oh, it's an RP production, and when you get in there, it might not be what you expect it to be. It, it, it really might not. You might think it's like garbage, but it's going to be the actual truth to what it, what it was before it became footwork. You just gotta start from the beginning and bring you back up to where that's at. It's gonna bring other people, but it's gonna lose people. So I put like this: it's a win-lose situation. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a win situation for me, <laughs> but for them, it's gonna be a win-lose situation. Give me a second. Oh, that's not. But other than that, <laughs> it's gonna be either like they say, 
the the truth is too strong for you. You might enter and you say, well, man, blah, this is whack or whatever else and leave. But I'll tell you, the truth will send you in your face. But then, as the crowd move, it's called a graduation present. You, it's like I said, you can test the water, but can you can you survive in the deep end? Mm-hmm. So that's that's what it's gonna be. That's that's what's gonna be the, the, the outlook. And I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make sure that you, as the cameraman, be that. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that it's 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 people like you that need the exposure. Not as saying, oh, we trying to make you better. Like, now. You deserve it. Right about now, man. Right about man.